Hey there, Leslie. Congratulations on your retirement. Welcome to this side of the world of work. You are going to love it here. So I just wanted to let you know that my new little black bikini is ever so ready if you want to take a, a dive holiday. Remember, we don't have to go in the on season anymore. We're off season people. We can go January, March, February, October, September. You're choosing. So we can take a dive trip whenever you would like. You just let me know. And again, welcome to this side of the world of work and congratulations. Hi from the carpool babes. Oh, <laughs> Leslie, I can't believe you're going to retire after 40, 40 years. years. Oh my goodness. But what was your favorite year? What'd she say? She would say carpool, carpool babes. babes. So we want to go down a little memory lane here. Yeah. Um, Jan remembered something that I've forgotten about. Our early morning drives to a house that was occupied so we could get the paint color. So we're ready to help you paint if you need to, need to do that. And that green paint has gone out of fashion, so I would advise don't use that anymore. <laughs> Take it from me. Um, and we also remembered your um, one-time special friend, Tracy, oh, I believe yes. was his name. Yes. And you went to Las Vegas or Reno? Vegas? Yeah, one of those. Las Vegas, Vegas is soon. And you brought us each a uh, magnet with our names on them. I put mine in such a special place. I can't locate it. Can't Where's find, yours? I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I have yours with me. Okay. But that led to the next magnet and the next magnet and the next magnet. <laughs> oh, what happened to your head? Oh, Misa got a hold of it. So, but I still have it. And the. Uh, oh, that's yours. This is mine. Okay. Yeah. All right. And the. Uh, oh, oh, mine's in the other. I have the mine too. Blue door. Yes. And my favorite <laughs> dinner. <laughs> Not to forget. I mean, because of our travels, everyone went any someplace. They had to bring something back for their carpool babes. And remember when you brought me this special COVID mask from Tunisia made out of, I don't know, like the special weakest pay forever, <laughs> but it has a filter on the side and it says COVID-19. COVID <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I'm wearing my Alaska wings today. <laughs> I'm the, what am I, first flight officer? You're, mm -hmm. you're an unaccompanied minor. <laughs> so that year was really special for me because we shared so much of our family and I think our girls were all graduating that year well not in your, case yeah. okay sorry yeah. your your boy and our my our girls and we lived through my uncle disappearing in the desert and then Jan very smartly diagnosing my cousin after 60 years he's on the spectrum he's on the spectrum <laughs> and the yellow talking about the yellow bus and those are just really we we did a lot we did and a lot and we jan and i both got left behind by you because you were such a a time manager so we i got left behind and you got left behind 7 30 minutes 7 30 7 30 Anyway, we're happy for you. We're so excited that we can maybe do some new adventures and new, new revised carpool babes. And so to the next four years. Okay. Leslie, Chris Budnick here. Uh, before, before I begin, uh, let me call out the elephant in the room as it were. Uh, while I may be recording this this video from uh, within a secret room I discovered in the basement of my Tacoma home, more specifically a secret grow room, those aren't murder stains on the wall behind me, but the works of an incredible, inquisitive, beautiful little three-year-old Martin Budnick who decided... Hey, paint goes well on most surfaces, and who am I to disagree? <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, uh, in all seriousness, you gave a fourth and fifth grade me the confidence to both 
believe in and be myself. I'm forever grateful for your guidance during those formative years uh, in my life, which I believe are largely responsible for sending me on the successful trajectory that I now enjoy. Um, I can't begin to fathom the amount of, uh, of lives that you have directly impacted during your career, in a positive way, of course. Uh, and what's even more unfathomable is the uh, virtuous ripple effect that each one of those students will have throughout their, their life, you know, as they grow up to become functioning, well-adjusted adults like, uh, like I think I am. <laughs> May your retirement bring you a, a wealth of joyous memories with family and friends. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Hi, Leslie. Congratulations on your retirement from your friend and your old neighbor and your third cousin. Hey, Leslie, happy retirement. We are so excited for you and super proud of all you've accomplished in all those many years with all those children and love you and hope you have a great retirement. And I uh, hope you get to travel even more than what you have. So uh, happy retirement and uh, have fun doing it. Love you. Bye. Leslie, it seems like just yesterday I was learning multiplication facts from you and Marilyn and I were stealing Snickers bars from your classroom and letting Ben Howard take the blame for it. I'm so thankful you didn't catch us and even more thankful I had you as a teacher. You taught me so much and I would not be the person I am today without you. Congratulations on your retirement. I am so excited for you and your new chapter of Dragon Boat Racing. Best wishes. Hey Leslie, congratulations. I know you never thought this day would get here, but you made it. It's time to celebrate. Woo woo! I'm so happy that we met and went on so many travels together and I cannot wait to see what you do next. Um, I'm not supposed to go over a minute. It's just not enough time to say all the wonderful, amazing things I want to say about you. So just know I'm thinking of you and I'm just so happy for you and enjoy it. Love you. Bye. Oh, hi, Leslie. Happy retirement, Leslie. Queensland, Australia. Hooray. She's retiring. That's pretty special. Look, we're in Queensland. There's not much here. Hi, Les. Happy retirement. Sorry I couldn't be there. I'm actually in Alaska. Well, not really. I'm right off Fox Island right now, but I recorded this in late May. I wanted to wish you a super happy retirement. I'm very happy for you. I know you've done a great job educating kids for 40 years and now that you have free time i'd say you're going to travel but you travel all the time but hey there's an open seat right there if you want to come out fishing now that you have all that extra time so again congratulations and i'll talk to you soon congratulations and happy retirement i'm uh, glad you made it and uh just uh, thinking back of memories. Wonder if you remember these from the old school. Here in my yard in Port Orchard. Sure, I hope to be seeing you more. Um, and as always, just go out there and have a great time. You deserve it. Hi, Mrs. Stoll. The Lund family wishes you so much happiness and we can't thank you enough for the great teacher you were to Dane and the great friend you've been to our family. We love you and your girls and have so many wonderful memories and we wish you so much happiness in your retirement. Now the real fun begins. Love from the Lund family. Hey Leslie, happy retirement. I just wanted to say I'm really thankful to know you. We've been hanging out for a long time, like uh, 
waitresses back when you were in high school, like playing at your wedding, like teaching your kids, um, like teaching you, and just good friends for a long time. And I just pray that your retirement is more than you hope for, and it's a wonderful time of life for you. Um, I know you're going to have more time to practice, so that's a really cool thing. And we are going to hear a... Hi, Leslie. Guess where I'm standing? I'm on the deck. Get it? Uh, congratulations on your retirement, and I hope to see you soon. Hi, my friend. I never thought I would say this, but thank goodness for Miss Kathy. What would we have ever done without ballet and the theater for our girls, which was the baseline, is that the right word, for our friendship? I am very thankful to her and our carpools and all our work on the sets. And then when the girls got older, then we transitioned our friendship. I am almost about to cry, but I'm going to keep going. So we transitioned our friendship from a focus on cute Marilyn and cute Lauren to travel, Thailand, China, Switzerland, remember the clams, and then China and Hong Kong again for the wedding of the century. Uh, we have just done some pretty amazing things, my friend. I'm so proud of you as an educator and my friend. I love you. I also think the one minute limit that your daughters put on my video was a bit strict. So as a teacher, I know that you like people who break the rules. So I've broken the rules by about 20 seconds. Happy retirement. Can't wait to play with you forever. Just want to say congratulations, Leslie, um, for 40 some years of spectacular teaching. Uh, although I was never one of your students, but I've learned a lot from you and uh, with much love and hopefully we'll do something this summer. I don't know. And uh, that's about it. Anyway, take care. Congratulations. Hey, dearest, dear friend. Greetings from where the pavement ends. I'm so excited to wish you a happy retirement and think about the glory days and the gory days of your educational journey and the lives you've touched of students, colleagues, parents, and just everybody you meet. Your joie de vivre, your humor, and your incredible hard work are an homage to who you are in the world. And I look forward to frickin' frack adventures and smoking PD and all of our other alternative personas. Love you, girl. Leslie, congratulations. 40 years. Wow. Can't wait to see what your next adventures are. So proud of you and so happy for you. Cheers. Congrats, Leslie. Gosh, what a great career. You've been in so many places and touched so many kids' lives. I'm so glad we had the opportunity to teach together that year at Sheridan. You really were my rock and helped me survive a very adventurous year, something I wasn't really prepared for. One of my memories from that year is when a crayfish got taped to a coworker's door with a little note, help me. And um, yeah, well, you were pretty supportive as I got in trouble for bullying that teacher. Thanks. I really value your friendship and so glad we got to teach together and I got to know you better. And now we're walking buddies. Congrats. Happy retirement, Leslie. It's Sally reporting live from Svensdorf, Denmark. I wish I could be there to celebrate with you guys. Congratulations on your retirement after many years of dedicated teaching. You have literally changed the lives of hundreds of children around the entire world and you're an inspiration. Um, I am standing here with uh, a lilac bush that I have personally 
trim today, which reminds me of the good old days when Marilyn and I used to have to deadhead your rhododendrons, Washington State flower. <laughs> but then afterwards we, we were rewarded with gallons of ice cream, so I guess it all evened out in the end. Um, so many wonderful memories together, and I hope that soon we can make more together and see more of one another in your retirement. You're always welcome here in Denmark, and I hope to come back to Washington sometime soon and bring Mima and the girls, uh, and future baby. Um, so enjoy your retirement and your free time e-biking around Cushman Trail and uh, spending time with the Gig Harbor Dragons, winning races and being cool. Love you so much. Happy retirement. Bye. Go. Hi Leslie, it's your favorite stylist Vicki. Happy retirement. I know you're going to have a blast and you're not going to miss school. Hi Leslie, this is Ruth um, and I want to wish you a wonderful retirement and um, all that time you're going to have to like travel and see your kids, your grandkids and do whatever your heart desires. Um, more dragon boating. I'm so happy that we're on that team together now and have that in common. And who'd never know that we used to be neighbors down the street from each other when our kids were really tiny. And now, um, now we're down the street from each other again after I've gone across the country and back in the last, oh, 20 some years or so. Um, and now I'm back to subbing and our school district and been at your old school where you used to teach. Um, you know, you've worked so hard over so many years raising kids and um, traveling all over the world, teaching, um, just everything. And you so deserve to enjoy all these days going forward and encourage you to take advantage of every minute and um, I'm wearing my dragon boating hat in honor of you and um, looking forward to the races we have in coming up this year and uh, my first ones actually. Um, I remember when, how often my, Marilyn used to come over to my house and want to play with Kirsten and I think there was a time there she was so little she was You'd give me potty training instructions with her. I don't know. That's just something that clicked in there. But she loved playing with Kirsten. And um, and you invited over, us over to Christmas um, a, one or two times. I can't remember how long it was. But um, remember Natalie practicing her instrument in her room and, and seeing Marilyn's um, theater arts shows, her musicals. And um, just you know, coming to visit you at your old house, going for walks with you in our old neighborhood. I just have so many wonderful memories there. Sam Doyle needs help. Hello, Mrs. Stoll. Congratulations on your retirement. You made a huge impact on my life and the lives of so many. And it was noticed how much you cared. You cared about what you did. And that's why so many people are reaching out to you. So thank you. And I don't know how much help I still need, but if you're ever in San Diego and you want to get a bite to eat with me, I would love that. So take care. Hope to see you during your retirement. Hey there, beautiful friend. Wow, what a difference you've made in this career of yours. How exciting to be retiring. Uh, although I have a feeling it's not going to be the end. Um, I'm sure that some places around the world are going to get sprinklings of your wonder and your amazing teaching talents. I'm hoping sometime maybe you can come out here to Ghana. Um, and of course, I would love to travel with you when you would come as we've had so many places that we've connected and we've gone and we've um, explored like loads of places in Tunisia, including the Sahara Desert. And then there's Morocco, Georgia, Switzerland, Gosh, where else? Did we go to France? Not sure, but definitely Botswana, Namibia, and Zimbabwe. Um, 
Anyways, I love you bunches, and I'm just hoping that you get to now spread your wings and do all sorts of exploration without really worrying about keeping to some kind of a school or academic schedule. Like, just think about it. You can, well, I guess you're in the States now, so you do have Thanksgiving, but just think about how you can go anywhere at any time and any place. And I hope you're going to come and see me soon. Riley <laughs> <laughs> wanted like 10 seconds to talk. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Sit up and right. talk. Talk. Hi, Leslie. I hope you get to experience more beautiful days like this in your retirement. Have a good time. Congratulations, <gasps> Leslie. We hope you enjoy lots of beautiful beaches like this one. <laughs> Congrats on making it out of the rat race. Hopefully, we can join you eventually. We love you, Leslie. Leslie. Congratulations. 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 Congratulations, Grammy. Congratulations, Grammy. Yeah. Mom, congratulations on your retirement. We're so excited. We're going to get to see lots more of you. Are you excited to see more of Grammy? Yeah. <laughs> love you. Hey, happy retirement. I really wanted to do this in a prettier place, but I ran out of time. And honestly, an empty classroom is kind of the perfect place to celebrate a retirement. Um, you will never have to tear everything off the walls of your classroom ever again, unless you want to go in and help your friends do it. But if you want to come down to Costa Rica and take my, my room apart next year, you are more than welcome. In fact, I think you need to have a flight alert set just permanently uh, because you're going to have loads of time for all of the most important things in your life now, like dragon boating and dragon boating and Owen and dragon boating and um, Owen and dragon boating and maybe Costa Rica if there's time. But honestly, what's more important than dragon boating? Um, enjoy your time. Enjoy your summer. Enjoy never going back to that stupid school. I'm so sad that you had such crap years right at the end, but go also through your memories. Remember all the, all the good classes and all the good schools and all those students um, whose lives you made a difference in. Yeah. I'll see you soon. Congratulations. Congratulations, Les. Congratulations for uh, quite, a, quite a career in, in education, 40 years, and uh, you've just knocked it out. Great job. Yeah, and we know that you've touched many lives and the kids have been so lucky to have you. Um, you've been all over the world, teaching everywhere. So So we have some advice career. for you on your retirement since we're, we're a little bit ahead of you. We want to tell you, and we're just going to call this the, the four Fs. And um, so first of all, first of all is fitness. Um, you know, I'm not saying, you just need to, you need to get out there, maybe take up some, maybe take up walking, you know, <laughs> maybe some walking. Maybe uh, maybe dragon boat. Maybe a little yoga, you know, <laughs> something like that. Get out there and do that on a daily basis, and you'll just feel a lot better. Yeah. And then you've got lots and lots of friends. So second F, friends. Yeah. Keep in touch with those friends. See them more often. You, that'll keep you very busy since you have so many. You do. And and also another F, the family. family. You know, we're getting together with the Sibs, and you've got friends all over the place, and you, you stay in touch with them really well. And so keep doing that. And, uh, and have else? you uh, have you ever thought of some foreign travel? Yeah, you should try some foreign you might travel. Want to try that yeah. while you're retired? You yeah, know, you, it might be an idea. Yeah, I think you might enjoy it. <laughs> you know, you might like getting out there and seeing the world a little bit yeah, too. Yeah. Now, if you get bored with all that stuff, there's also flowers so, and fertilizer. Yeah, those are also AKA apps. gardening. Yeah, you could do that if everything <laughs> else is you know can't do it. So, so um, one more thing, we'd like to thank you. For matching us up, yep, long getting time us ago. together. Yep. 38 years we've been together, 40 years probably. Yes. And it's all worked out real well. Well, you know. And, <laughs> and you also gave us the travel bug. You, you know, did. A long time ago, you said, Lair, let's go to Europe. And boy, and I said, Carol, let's go to Europe. And yep. we haven't looked back. Haven't so. looked back. And we so love traveling with you too. So yeah. we hope that we can do that again. Yep. So we're looking forward to that. So, so congratulations, Les. Yep. And, and thanks for everything, and we look forward to more time with you. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. What happens in the carpool stays in the carpool.